Hey, hey, hey everyone, Tankenstein here, and in this gameplay, I have your overview and hopefully some gameplay for the Churchill Crocodile. This is a rank 3 battle rating 4.7 variant of the Churchill that is actually coming with the newest Battle Pass season. Not the next update, but because the next update and Battle Pass are coinciding, they will be released pretty much at the same time. They decided to put this on the dev server. Now you might be asking yourself, what is a Churchill Crocodile? Why is this in game? It's got a flamethrower. That's why. This thing has a six and a half ton fuel attachment plus of course the flamethrower which itself weighs a little bit but it has a huge amount of fuel where you will now be able to spray open open top vehicles lightly armored vehicles what have you and you should be able to devastate them now for the most part this is going to be useful against uh unarmored vehicles as well as again open top vehicles like maybe hellcat style vehicles things of that nature some half tracks but who knows maybe this will provide some sort of tactical use usage such as obscuring enemy vision that said this is a churchill mark 7 or uh, rather uh, yes churchill mark 7 as you can see here it's uh, the 7 a 22f whereas this is also the a 22f the same exact vehicle or not the the mark 7 the mark 4 7 my apologies british uh their their nomenclature is a little bit funky but hey it is what it is this is the tank infantry mark 4 churchill 7 a22f crocodile because why not so that said this has the same cannon it's got the m72 m61 m89 and m48 nothing too special but that said let's get into some gameplay here as you can see it's literally not going to let me play ground realistic because i am not a high enough br to actually do that so i might have to play yep ground arcade that's the only way that it's actually going to let me use it but i'll show you in test drive first what this flamethrower does and then i'll get into a match in ground arcade and see if it does anything in that let's get into it so how most people are probably going to have it set up and yes this trailer does move with you but how most people are probably going to have it set up is that the flamethrower fires in the same way that the machine gun fires so press the space button if you're on pc and voila look at that and it's going to wipe this thing right right off the face of the earth. Immediately destroyed. So this weighs about six and a half tons more than the, again, standard version of this vehicle and the tech tree. Uh, largely due to the fuel in the back, but I'm sure the flamethrower being added to the vehicle also weighs a bit. Now this does have realistic physics, interestingly enough, but I'm not sure if it's modeled all the way quite yet. Uh, apparently, by destroying the fuel tank in the back, it will not destroy the Churchill. Let's see if I can actually set this thing on fire. I doubt it, right? Wait a Oh, no. I can't. It's not going to let me. So that said, let's go uh, just use it one more time just to kind of demonstrate it against that lightly uh, armored or really just open vehicle, that AA. Oh, maybe I have to be sitting to use it. Oh, you know what? I have to... It can only come out of a certain... Uh, degree basically or a certain angle at the front of course duh that makes sense also you can angle this up quite a bit here so let's see this should be about maximum angle and that's pretty damn gnarly so you can also set things on fire like the ground and it does have well as realistic as you can make it uh, realistic ground setting on fire effects sparks when it hits the water of course I guess Guess that makes some level of sense. Um, it's not burning the wood like, you know, wood would necessarily burn, but, you know, it is staying there because, of course, it's flammable liquid. But it does actually have realistic effects here on the ground, and it actually chars the ground. Let's go shoot it at a tree. And aim up a little bit. Doesn't look like it does anything to the tree. Not these trees, at least. These are flame-resistant trees. <laughs> Uh, but let's put it on this thing. Does pretty well. Shoot it against the back of it. I mean, it's not destroying it by any means. But, you know, this isn't something that I really expected it would do. I feel like this is probably going to be a little bit more of a, um... Kind of one of those things. Kind of like the Calliope, for example. It's like a gimmick in a way. Not that it's a bad thing. The Calliope is very much useful... But uh, this is, in a way, a gimmick, um, and I, I feel like this is pretty pretty obvious here at this point. Um, really, you're only going to be able to destroy these lightly armored vehicles. Not that it won't be useful, but limited tactical uh, usefulness. So that said, 
Let's get into a few uh, into a match here. Again, it's got to be ground arcade just because they literally will not let me play uh, ground RB, uh, at least unless I put like a top tier vehicle in it, but that really wouldn't make any sense. And whether it's RB or AB, it doesn't really matter ultimately because every vehicle armor is the same regardless of if you play top or, or bottom BR tier or whatever. So I said, let's get into it and see what we can do. This guy's like, flamethrower? <laughs> it's not going to matter at all, though. I mean, this, this is the kind of like crap. I set my ally on fire. That's funny. <laughs> oh jeez, this is so stupid. Do these people know that this thing exists? <laughs> okay, okay, that that's enough of, of this. Uh, so I might actually have to get into a custom battle here because this is just totally ridiculous. I don't think I'm gonna get anywhere with this vehicle. Uh, nowhere, nowhere useful at least. This is funny. Oh, man. Yeah, it seems like pretty much everyone on the enemy team is, like, look, SU-25, or 22, Stridgewagen, AMX-30, like, with the exception of, nah, not even the AMX-30. Uh, is this an open top? I'm not sure. Oh, that's an enemy, all right. Oh, my. Let's launch! <laughs> Fear me! Fear me! <laughs> it's not doing anything. Although, I think I did set him on fire, but it didn't even give me any uh, assist for that. That's interesting. Kind of expected that, but... Oh, looks like... Was that thing destroyed? Was it always that short? I'm not even sure. But yeah, it kind of looks like this is a... Uh, like it's doing almost literally nothing uh, to actually assist me here. But, hey, it is what it is. Didn't give me any points for the assist, even though I sprayed that guy with the flames of righteous fury. But, uh, yeah, I might have to get into a custom battle or something. But, like I said, I mean, ultimately, regardless of if I get into a custom battle or not with this, it seems like this is, in a way, a gimmick. I'm glad that this is actually being offered in a battle pass. Uh, in a way, I'm glad. Not really, because, you know, you can make an argument that this shouldn't be, like, one of those FOMO things, you know, fear of missing out, because ultimately, what'll happen is you have a lot of people out there who are not going to access this because they don't have access to, um, or they're not going to have access to this, um, you know, because of they don't have battle pass. They don't have this, that, or the other thing. So I'm going to launch some flames over here. See if I can hit someone. Okay, I really want to take out that BMP too. Not gonna, though. Just eat it, eat it. This guy is like... The, the reaction that these people have is ridiculous. Eat it! <laughs> How this guy says I'm the devil <laughs> uh, I think actually I ran out of fuel yeah okay you can actually run out of fuel in this thing <laughs> oh man so yeah I mean it doesn't really have the longest uh, fire time in the world of course somehow I'm still alive I mean, I get it that this is ground AB, but, um, you know, I'm not, I don't know. <laughs> it just feels so weird. And again, unless you're firing on literally open top vehicles, you're not going to get anything. I have a suspicion I, I hit that big light to Panza, big light to Panza, and, uh, and it did nothing. 
So, and that's a very, obviously, a very lightly armored vehicle. So if I did nothing to that, or pretty much nothing to that, then, you know, who's to say that I'm going to do anything to, well, really anything else. So, the verdict out on this is that, yes, it's a gimmick, but it's a really fun gimmick. Imagine this vehicle times, like, ten. Like, once everybody gets this vehicle, or possibly some other flamethrowing tanks... I mean, I don't really see flamethrowing tanks being added to War Thunder unless it is, um, unless it's like a secondary weapon. I don't see how they could make this a primary uh, weapon on a vehicle, but didn't they have flamethrowing Shermans, for example? I think those were, were primary weapons, however, on those ones, but hey, you know, who knows? So I'm just going to go here until I die. Um, you know, I'm not really expecting much. This thing is just so ridiculous. But so fun that I am genuinely concerned with how much fun I'm having with it. Um, okay, maybe not genuinely concerned, but I'm I'm a little worried. <laughs> oh man, of all the gimmicks in War Thunder, this game. Oh my gosh, imagine if I got him. Of all the gimmicks in War Thunder, this is one of the best ones. Can I get him? Can I get him? Nah, I'm not gonna. Yeah. Anyways, okay, that's about it for this gameplay. So, long story short, as you saw there, it is a hell of a lot of fun just to spray flames at people. And really, the only enemies that you're going to be able to actually kill with this are going to be, or even damage. I mean, I was actually surprised. I didn't get any assist for killing that. I believe it was the Centurion before, even though I doused him with the, the Flames of Righteous Fury. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, this feels like a gimmick, but this might be one of the most fun gimmicks War Thunder has ever added. Forget about dozer blades. Forget about engineering vehicles. The flamethrower is what's hot in 2022. My gosh, that was actually a lot of fun, even though I did virtually nothing with it. That said, thank you so much for watching. Please, of course, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I am so totally interested once this hits. And if they add more flamethrower vehicles, I mean, they kind of have to, right? But that said, thanks so much, and I'll see you all on the other side. Take care, everyone.